Hey everybody, I have had some requests in the past and recently uh, where people has asked me to show the shuttle shift transmission on my Kubota M6060, kind of how it works. Uh, I think this is primarily for people that's been used to hydrostatic transmissions and they're kind of wanting to switch over to the gear drive, which of course there's a difference between the shuttle shifts and an actual gear drive tractor like the older stuff I have. So we'll kind of cover a little bit on that, uh, the different types of shuttle shifts that I know about and how they work, how you can change gears on them um, as far as in your speed ranges and everything and maybe give you a little bit of insight on it i don't really know a good way to video it to show everything uh, i'll do, do my best but we'll uh we'll get started here and uh hopefully it'll help and if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments or send me an email the first thing you got to do is get you a black cat seat warmer to keep your seat good and warm for you this tractor is a hydraulic shuttle you can see right there hydraulic shuttle some Kubotas at one point I don't know if they still make them that way uh, had a mechanical shuttle so you need to be cautious of whether you've got a hydraulic shuttle or a mechanical shuttle some have electric over hydraulic um, <coughs> I think the M4 series, I've never drove one, but I'm thinking they have an electric over hydraulic shuttle. Uh, it's where you kind of got like a little paddle shift. Basically, it works the same way. Um, I know on AC's Massey Ferguson 4707, it's got elect, you know, it's like an electric switch. Um, you also have a little turn dial to adjust the sensitivity and stuff on those. The sensitivity on these is, in my opinion, perfect. The way they have them adjusted up and the way they work. And basically, like right here, you're in neutral. Uh, you have to kind of lift up to shift forward. And hold up and shift back to reverse. Or drop it into neutral. And that kind of that, that kind of locks it to where it's not so easy to bump it and knock it into forward or reverse. Now, you can change from forward, reverse, forward, whatever, and not use the clutch. Uh, what this does on the hydraulic shuttle, it will automatically disengage your clutch, put it in, you know, like it's going into neutral, and then it'll shift it into uh, forward for you. That is very handy, especially in low range. In first, second, and third, first, second, third, and fourth gear in low range, um, works really good, really smooth, and everything does not affect you on using the clutch. If you prefer to use the clutch pedal, uh, you can still do that. You know, of course, I use it like if I'm loading trucks and things, uh, loading hay, I'll use my foot clutch when I pull up close to the tractor to, or trailer or truck. Uh, to ease into it and then I'll shift them back out Now on a mechanical shuttle You have to use your clutch anytime you shift from forward to reverse just like you would on any manual transmission So this this is a kind of the perfect setup in my opinion um, Because it gives you somewhat of a hydrostat um Similarity with not having the clutch going from forward to reverse and you have all your speed ranges in uh, forward and reverse The thing that I like about a gear drive transmission over a hydrostat is I feel like the gear drive takes less power away from your your engine and drivetrain than a hydrostat does a hydrostat with the pumps and everything it sort of strains the system when you get under a big load and i think you lose a little bit of your tractive power then 
with a gear drive uh you're you're going to spin the wheels i mean it's it's not going to stall out and not spin it's going to spin dig and whatever until you uh, push the clutch in to stop but just remember make sure if you have a mechanical shuttle or a hydraulic shuttle or like a power shift type thing uh, to where that you don't have to use the clutch because they are different styles and you don't want to tear something up now being up here on the tractor mine is an eight speed uh i think some of them's a 12 speed i believe the 12 speeds have a parking gear um the parking gear is something that that i would like to have basically you can tell right here the way this shifter is laid out you've got one two three four five six and then you would have park there on the 12 speed why is the park important is because when this tractor is turned off and i'll show you in here in a little bit regardless of if you've got it in forward or reverse the tractor still rolls it does not hold in gear uh that is something i don't like i, I just don't like that setup um with the hills and mountains we're in um you know sometimes hooking up logs unhooking logs or if you have a little trouble if you hay baler and you got to stop on a hill uh you can't turn the tractor off and set your brake to where you have a double holding power uh like you can on a regular gear drive tractor so that park uh feature would be really nice that's one reason i don't take my loader off very often you hardly ever see this tractor without a loader and that kind of acts as my park brake if I'm on heels. You got your high and low range. I think some of them has a creep speed maybe uh, that you can get as well, which would give you the creep low and high. Um, personally, I would never need that. This works, this setup works good. And um, in order to shift from high to low, you pretty well need to be stopped. I, I do shift sometimes if I go from fourth high or fourth low to first high. Sometimes I push my clutch in and I'll go ahead and shift it to high and then shove it into first. Um, but it's really probably be better to be stopped when you shift it from, from low to high range or high to low range. When you're shifting from in between first, second, third, and fourth, you can do that on the go, but you do need to clutch between gears. Just like you would on a manual transmission. These are synchronized, no issue with shifting on the fly. They won't scrape, grind, or nothing as long as you use your clutch. Another thing I'll do sometimes, especially in low range, sometimes I'll pull this handle up uh, to declutch it, shift my gear, and then put it back in. Um, you know that's not necessary but i have done that some especially if i got something down here around my feet like a chainsaw or anything like that i'm carrying but now we'll take it out and do a little demonstrations this shuttle has to be in neutral for the tractor to start it's a good idea to go ahead and have this one in neutral too especially if you're starting it from the ground which you know it's recommended not to do that but it's something i do pretty regular when you turn your key on on these tractors uh, in the winter time, it will come up, show that your glow plugs are heating, and once they've heated, it cuts off, then you can start your tractor. <laughs> Hey. 
clutch in and they stop and go back to there and lay down on it. Pretty handy feature. Pretty handy feature. And then like I right here, I push my clutch in and go to fourth. I'm a fourth gear in reverse. I go to forward. Go from fourth. Drop it down to third. No grinding. Drop it to second. Drop it to third. I can get. I can go from. Uh, let's do it in reverse. Go in reverse. Just lift the handle up. Push forward. Shift. slope I'm in first gear I got the shuttle and forward and see it just rolls away on you so the only way for this tractor to sit in place you got to trust this this part brake which you can lock these pedals together I never lock my pedals together except for when I'm transporting it sometimes I will I'll lock them together and set my brake uh, so I use my loader to jab in the ground and help hold me on heels and things because I don't you know I don't feel comfortable getting off the tractor with just that brake set being on a hill like this because you know it could pop loose or whatever um, on the old style tractors like these I'd always turn them off in gear and set the brake necessarily I'll, if I'm going if I'm in second gear high I'll stop uh, hit my brake put it in reverse and then go but uh, generally I'm not shifting from forward to reverse much anything above uh, first gear high anyways that's where you're anything above that you're probably not going to be changing direction very often so it's not something you have to worry about too much But that's, you know, a quick rundown. It's kind of hard to show uh, all your scenarios and things uh, in a video like this. But don't be afraid to experiment with one when you're using it. Just try different things. 
Uh, if you feel comfortable using the clutch pedal, to use the clutch pedal. I mean, it's just, it's a, it's pretty simple, really. At the end of the day, it's pretty simple set up. But, hope y'all enjoyed the little video. I hope it helped the ones that's had questions. And uh, if you will, please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll talk to you later.